Hey YouTube, welcome to another one of my Perler Bead how-tos. Today we're going to be doing a Perler Bead Doctor Who clock, wall hanging clock. You're going to need a Perler Bead TARDIS with a hole in the center. I left out a couple beads in the center and a clock kit that I got at Walmart for $4 I think. It's probably the more expensive part of the kit. Um, well, here we go. Start off by taking the nut off the clock kit. There's a nut, a wa uh, brass washer, and a rubber washer. You're going to leave the rubber washer on as a backer for it. Now you will take the clock kit, feed it through the hole that you've left in your perler bead, put the brass washer on, and thread the nut back on. This does take a couple minutes because, especially if you have bigger fingers like me, it's not easy to thread. That you're not left a lot of room. Uh, just make sure it's tight. You don't want your perler bead floating around on the screw. So just make sure it's tight. Then after that, you're going to put on your hands. I felt it, easy, it was easier to put down on a table flat. You're going to start off with the believe it's the hour hand it has a bigger hole what the hour hand has a big hole the minute hand has a smaller hole you'll see that with your kit and they just press on they are kind of tight um, but they just press on to the to the post once you get that on then the lastly you're going to have your second hand second hand threads into the post and it actually clicks in, you'll hear it click, feel it click, and then once you got that, make sure, give it a couple of spins, make sure it's not, none of your hands are bent and touching, and then put a battery in, hang it on your wall, and watch it go. This is mine, I left it run for about a minute so you can see, nothing's touched, none of the hands are touching, everything's clear. And it runs fine. And with that, I'll say thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, favorite this video if you liked what you saw. If you need anything, don't be afraid to message me with your questions.